Welcome back everyone to Economics for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at elasticity. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the price elasticity of demand and the price elasticity of supply. Let's get started. These slides are based on the Principles of Economics Second Edition by OpenStax. So for the first thing that we want to kind of discuss today is talking about Netflix, okay, and economic elasticity. Now, as we all know, economics is an American provider of on-demand internet streaming media, and it is all around the world. Now, it includes the United States. It also used to be a flat DVD mail carrier in the United States. Now, how did customers react, let's say in 2011, to the major uh, packaging change, including a price increase? Now, this is a modern day example of the concept we call elasticity, and we'll be furthering exploring this throughout this video. Now, we're going to be looking at a couple different things here, such as uh, some definitions, okay? So price elasticity of demand and price elasticity of supply. So first off, elasticity is an economics concept that measures the responsiveness of one variable to changes in another variable. Price elasticity is the ratio between the percent change in the quantity demanded, or QD, and supplied, QS, and the corresponding percentage change in price. Is a price elasticity of demand, which is the percentage change in the quantity demanded of a good or service divided by the percentage. Price elasticity of supply is the percentage change in the quantity supplied divided by the percentage change in the price. Now, whether things are elastic, inelastic, or uh, unitary, these are three cases of elasticity. Elastic demand or elastic supply is one in which the elasticity is greater than one, indicating a high responsiveness to changes in price. Inelastic demand or inelastic supply are elasticities that are less than one, indicating a low responsiveness to price changes. Unitary elasticities indicate the proportional responsiveness of either demand or supply. Now, whether things are elastic, inelastic, or uh, unitary, these are three cases of elasticity. Elastic demand or elastic supply is one in which the elasticity is greater than one, indicating a high responsiveness to changes in price. Inelastic demand or inelastic supply are elasticities that are less than one, indicating a low responsiveness to price changes. Unitary elasticities indicate the proportional responsiveness of either demand or supply. Now, while we're wanting to kind of calculate uh, elasticity, we need to make sure that we kind of understand how to calculate both the percentage change in quantity or the percentage change in price. Now, these can be done in several different ways, but for this particular video, we're gonna be using um, quantity two minus quantity one divided by the quantity two plus the quantity one divided by two multiplied by 100. And then the same thing goes for the price, so price one minus uh, price two minus price one divided by price two plus plus the price one divided by two multiplied by 100. And again, if we divide both of these out, the chain, the percent change in quantity over the percent change in price, we're going to get the elasticity. And just as we've shown in the previous section, uh, talking about how to actually calculate up those elasticities, where it, whether it is inelastic, elastic, or unitary elastic. Now, this next portion we're going to be looking at here is an actual example. So I want you guys to take a minute here and pause and try and calculate everything up by yourself, and then we'll take a look at the answer. The price elasticity of demand is calculated again by the percentage change in quantity divided by the percentage change in price. Therefore, the elasticity of demand between the two points, uh, and in this example, is going to be 0.45, and uh, amount smaller than one, showing that the demand is inelastic for this interval. Now we're going to go on to another example, and this is going to be calculating up the price elasticity of supply, 
I want you guys to pause here for a second and try to calculate it up yourselves, and then we'll go through the answer. As we see here, uh, the price elasticity of supply is calculated as the percentage change in the quantity divided by the percentage change in price. Uh, so what category does the elasticity fall into as a result? Well, this uh, elasticity is definitely greater than one. So then this would say that we are elastic in nature. So this is the end of this particular video. If you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.